Hey guys, it's boy Johan and welcome back to my channel guys, I hope you guys are doing absolutely great. So in today's video, uh, this is about the experience review of my uh, brand new Duke 390. Uh, it's been a while since I've not uh, given any verdict on this bike. It's been ridden for about 648 kilometers. So right now, uh, uh, I'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this bike personally, what I felt um, on this bike, pros and cons of this bike uh, and later after the first service, after riding the serviced bike, I, I will also make another video as well. So right now, this would be my initial in impression of the bike. Uh, so without wasting any further guys, let's get started. Okay, so I'm in a good place to make a review of this bike. So as you can see, this is my bike, uh, the new Gen Duke 390 KTM. Uh, recently I've watched this bike and so that is why it is looking neat right now. So for now, uh, let's talk about the pros and cons of this bike. Uh, I'll start uh, with the pros. Uh, because it's been a while uh, and I have not given any of my personal experience of riding this bike uh, for a while so that's why it's been 650 kilometers uh, close to 650 kilometers and uh, right now I'll, I'll give my initial experience of riding this bike um, uh, w the things which I like about it and uh, the things which I really feel that it should not be on this bike so let's start with the pro, uh, pros uh, good things about this bike uh, firstly, uh, the engine. It's 399cc. You get a really good performance on this bike, man. I, I'm telling you, uh, on a uh, on a city condition as well, you can easily drive this bike, uh, uh, and even on the highways, you can easily rev up this bike. Uh, till now, I have gone close to 90 to 95, but not more than that because uh, it's not been uh, first service. I'm not given first service. So that's why I'm, uh, I'm under the 100 km per hour but, but then you have a really good uh, torque, you have a really good power on, on this bike So yep Secondly, uh, the tires of these uh, of this bike uh, It's a Mazilla Sport, uh, Sportec MS uh, tires It is really good tires man, I'll tell you 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 will get a lot of confidence riding this bike with these tires um, uh, most of the people were expecting a really good tires for this but uh, being uh, being a guy who was using a mrf or other kind of tire and jumping for these tires i'll, I'll tell you i'll get, I'm, I'm getting a really good confidence on the corners as well so yeah even after i tested on in the rainy condition at the speed of 60 to 70 at the corners and it really performs well man really uh, you will get a good grips on the road so yeah this no issue on the tires as well as the suspension right now i'll talk about the suspension suspension is really good really good really responsive as you know you have a adjustable suspensions as well i have not uh, have not tested those suspension because i need to get a clear idea before using it that's why i haven't tested out anything on those uh uh adjustable uh, suspension but uh in the default it is working really well okay and fourthly these mirrors Mirrors are actually quite visible. I know uh, the mirrors and the horn are from the Domino, but the mirrors uh, are giving you a really good uh, visuals at the back. So uh, there's no uh, problem on those uh, those mirrors. Quick shifters, quick shifters are really good man uh, they, uh, I, ha I have also driven the gen 2 as well but the gen 2 had a quite lag a lagginess uh, on the bike but this bike gives you a really good uh, feel uh, it is not as good as r15 quick shifter or any other kind but then comparing to the gen 2 uh, gen 2 duke this is working pretty well okay uh, the quick shifters are really responsive but then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing guys quick shifter works only after 4000 rpm if you need a good uh, what do you say shift okay if you need a good shift you need to uh, rev the uh, engine to a 4000 rpm uh, or greater than that only then you can sh upshift it for the downshift even if you are at the, uh, at 3000 you can downshift so upshift and downshift it, it is working really good no issues on that no complaints and now 
talking about the mileage uh, right now i don't think i can uh, show you the mileage over here but then for me right now uh, before servicing i'm getting uh, uh, close to 30 km uh, per liter because i'm uh, riding this bike at a speed of below 90 km per hour so i'm really getting because i've done a full tank at first and right now it is 260 km still left uh, so yeah I'm, I'm getting close to 30 km per liter uh, that is actually good if you are riding at, at that speed uh, and if you are maintaining fuel economy then that is well but then people who are buying this are not really cared about the mileage okay but still but still i'm just trying to say you that even it gives you a good mileage but then most people it, it is duke and most people don't care about the mileage okay <laughs> even me so yeah uh, uh, the console next up is this console console is giving you a lot of information over here everything is on uh, on your eyesight uh, and uh, you get all the information and these buttons are really good very tactile and if i show you there are a lot of information i'll make a separate video of this uh, the instrumental cluster so stay tuned for that uh, the handling is so so good man uh, at the first i've talked about the engine right uh, i can uh, pull up the same topic uh, on the on the handling term as well it is really easy to maneuver man i'll i'll tell you on the corners it is uh, it, it is a corner rocket and I'll, I'll tell you it is very 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 easy to maneuver in the cities as well as in the tra uh, in the highways so uh, very very much uh, easy to glide uh, with this bike okay the, uh, so these are the positive things i like about this uh, and also you know that you have an adjustable levers as well uh, but still now i, have, I haven't test, uh, made any changes because i cannot turn this i don't know why uh, over here as well uh, i guess it have turned but then it was not working i need to ask the service people uh, uh, what is the reason for that uh, because i'm, I'm not uh, getting uh, to use this completely so yep and also another uh, good thing I, I can tell you this is also a good thing as, as well as a bad thing uh, the heating issue most of the people were saying that there's a lot of heating issue but for me personally i'll tell you if you are in a highways you are not feeling anything okay i'm i'm see i'm wearing a three fourth right now okay i'm re literally wearing a three fourth and uh, always i wear a shorts most of the time and um, i don't feel much of heating issues only if you are in a bumper to bumper or traffic to traffic condition you will feel a bit of uh, heat heat uh, heat on your thighs but then overall uh, i i have not felt any heating issues uh, on this bike because uh, if you see here i'll, I'll show you uh, uh, the, uh, the fan is made in such a way that the uh, A comes in this way, not directly to your thighs, okay? So it comes direct uh, in this direction, so uh, the A doesn't hit to, uh, hits on your thighs. So it uh, it is an actually good thing uh, 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 considering for this bike because uh, last gen uh, there were a lot of complaints on the heating issues, for, but for now, uh, uh, personally feeling, uh, only in a, in, a, in a bumper to bumper or traffic to traffic you will feel a, a slight heating issues that is obviously because it's a 4 the cc but then if you are in a highway nah nah completely i'll disagree most of them they are saying there is a lot of heating issue but no there, there is no not at all uh, it, i really didn't felt any uh, pro, uh, heating issues uh, this is the uh, this this is my view on the advantage or, or the things which i like about this bike uh, at the first now let's talk about the disadvantage or the cons of this bike because there are few things which is uh, which, uh, for me uh, it is feeling very annoying uh, firstly the seats seats are really bad man when uh, considering if you are carrying a pillion at the back uh, it is a pain in your ass literally it's a pain in your ass because this uh, because of the shorter wheelbase the you you don't have uh, much movement on the on the seats okay there, there are no not much movement on the seats and that is why if you are carrying a pillion at your back hell no uh, just in just 20 to 25 kilometers you'll feel a uh, butt pain uh, otherwise if you're going solo that is fine but then even the uh, even then you'll f uh, feel a bit pain in your ass uh, i have uh, i have told you about the seats right now i'll talk about this headlight headlight is a complete shit you know it is a complete waste even if you see look into this even if i turn it on okay even if i turn it on uh, there's a, a few issues on these display as well I'll, I'll, I'll show you later okay this headlight 
if you see here it looks really fabulous and at the front okay it looks really good. oh my god the headlights are so good you might say but then the headlight is complete shit okay i'm i'm seriously speaking you really need to add another auxiliary light in uh, in order to uh, ride at the night uh, at the night condition the headlight is totally worse man totally worse it's like a cycles bicycles light you are added on on this bike it is it is equal into that uh, uh, and uh, because th the throw of this headlight is not at all good not at all good you need to add a hjc what do you say a mini drive light or a, uh, th there are uh, so many other companies right uh, on auxiliary make sure you add an auxiliary light on this otherwise it is very hard to drive on nights man uh, please please do, uh, make sure you uh, add the lights at first after buying this bike um, uh, you make sure to add a auxiliary light on it and if you really want to invest uh, invest on the seats uh, a good seats on it right now uh, because if it's a new bike uh, uh, they are no, uh, they haven't uh, in aftermarket you don't see much of uh, good seats on it but you invest on seat as well thirdly i want to say uh, there's another problem there's another issue on this bike uh, uh, most of the time i feel uh, uh, it's uh, it's really annoying uh, if you see here if you can see uh, uh, right now it is showing me okay this is what you call a uh, coolant temperature status okay coolant uh, where most of the time when you start at the beginning uh, you need a cold start right uh, but uh, it takes a long time okay more than a minute or more than two to three minutes uh, it takes to come to okay status before that either it would be in a low or in a high uh, but then uh, it takes a lot of time it consume a lot of petrol uh, so i felt that is a bit annoying you're wasting your petrol at the beginning um, so yeah one is that and later uh, if you are a tall person like me, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a six foot guy. Uh, if you are a tall guy, uh, make sure you take a test drive at first because uh, the, because of this uh, this is a short bike. Uh, personally speaking, 800 uh, mm seat height, and uh, uh, because of the shorter wheelbase, uh, you will feel a bit of knee pain uh, while riding this bike. Uh, for a short people, it is really fun to drive because you don't have any issue uh, 800 mm you can easily drive this bike but then if you are a uh, bit tall f uh, above 510 or 511 uh, make sure you take a test drive at first uh, go for like 10 to 15 kilometer understand it uh, and later if you love it buy it because uh, most of the time when i've gone for a long drive i felt a bit knee pain while riding this bike uh, uh, that is one uh, bit of concern other than that uh, i haven't faced any kind of issues till now so far so far it's running really fine these were only uh, two three uh, two major issues and two minor issues uh, which i felt uh, at the beginning so yeah this is about my bike uh, my personal uh, uh, review uh, after riding this bike for about 600 km uh, do comment on if you have faced any if you if you have purchased this bi same bike let me know as well what kind of uh, problems you have faced i have seen most of the youtubers uh, after buying this bike they have faced a lot one of the guy who purchased a bike uh, in just 80 to 90 kilometer uh, his engine got seized uh, i don't know the like uh, is it a negligency from a showroom people or not i, I really don't know but then make sure uh, you take a test drive at first understand your likes and dislike uh, otherwise the bike is completely good man it's it's ktm it's really ktm it's a fast moving bike it's a pocket rocket uh, that's all for today's video guys i hope you like it make sure you to subscribe to my channel hit the li uh, like button do comment down if you uh, if you have any queries uh, regarding the uh, tires uh, riding experience uh, and all uh, any other things if you want to know uh, do comment down below and uh, i see you in my next video guys until then bye bye